So Mike, when you're working on your stick skills, you know, when you've practiced growing up, high school, college, all those things, what are some of the things that you like to do? How often do you spend, you know, give us some of the tips that you, you know, got your stick to where you've gotten it today. Yeah, well growing up we had a we had a shed outside of my parents' house and I would throw the ball along there and you saw when we were doing some of the videos, we had a couple drops in there. The biggest thing is challenge yourself, right? You try and get 15 in a row, right? Then you switch over to your offhand, 15 in a row, build that up. Really, I used to kind of count and say, I did try and get 100 touches each way perfectly before I, you know, no mess ups, then you can switch to the other side. Right. And just try and make a game out of it. You know, it can, you don't want to make it boring and just, like I said, switch hands, have fun with it, and really just challenge yourself to every time you go out, get better and better at it. And the more that you practice, the better you're going to get. That's a cliche. I mean, we hear that all the time, but it can't be more true than that, right? No, definitely. I mean, just the biggest thing, all, all the guys that play in college and the pros, they, they put all the time in behind the scenes that no one sees. And uh, that's what gets them to that level is, is all the work that goes on outside of practice. You can only get so many reps in your practice. Um, you know, with your team, so it's all the work you do by yourself really makes a difference. Yeah, make sure you get that work and get that BTB edge. Thanks, Mike. Yep. Now we're moving on to Stick Magician Workout 2. This workout is best with a partner, but it also can be adapted and changed a little bit for a bounce back or even for a brick wall workout. But again, it's best for a partner. And this is a workout, much like the first one we showed you, that really is going to give you the BTB edge and you're going to see immediate improvement with your stick work. The first workout that we're going to do is 90% of a shooting motion. So we're going to be passing and catching with our partner with all the same mechanics we talked about in the passing demo. We're going to have our shoulders turned, our hips turned, our stick and hands back, point with our front foot. We're going to have all those mechanics in place but we're just passing and catching with our partner. So we're not shooting it at 100%, but we're shooting it at about 85, 90%. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we wanna obviously box it as much as possible. And you see we've got tons of balls at our feet, so we never have to chase balls. We talked about that in the BTB Edge. So we're spending our time getting good stick work in instead of chasing balls. Okay, and their mechanics are in place. They're boxing it every time. They're in that quad threat position. Okay, that's very good. So we're going to get 25 right-handed. Now we're going to switch over to our left hand. We're going to do the same thing. Okay, we're, again, we're working on the mechanics. Our front foot is forward, pointing towards our target. Okay, our stick and our hands are back. Just working on that good, those good mechanics we talked about earlier. Passing and catching with perfect mechanics, always boxing it with our stick, and we're always in that quad threat position, that QTP. Okay, good. Now we're gonna advance to the one hand catch, two hand throw. So we're working on all the same exact mechanics we just talked about, okay, except for we're catching the ball with one hand on our stick. So we're really working on our concentration, and we're working on our comfort level with one hand on our stick, we're going to catch it, but then we're going to bring it back, tucked into that position, and throw with two hands. Okay, here we go. Catch them with one, throwing with two. Really exaggerate those mechanics when we're throwing. Step towards our target. Good. Catch with one hand, throw with two. Catch with one hand, throw with two. We're going to do 25 of these right-handed. Really work on that follow through. Work on pointing towards your target with your off foot. Again, working with one hand really increases our comfort level and really helps us with all of our technique. Okay, now let's switch to our left hand. All right, here we go. Catch with one hand, throw with two. Really try and nestle that stick in and bring it back when you catch. Good. So you can see their hips and shoulders are turned. They're working on those proper passing mechanics. When they're catching the ball, they're giving a little bit and they're in that QTP right away. And of course, they're always boxing it with the stick on that imaginary box by their ear. Great job. Okay, now we're working on a different variation. We're still catching with one hand, but instead of our top hand like we just did in the middle of the stick, we're working on the bottom hand at the bottom of our stick. 
and we're going to catch the ball with the stick on an angle across our body. So now we're really working on feeling comfortable with that bottom hand working by itself. So we're going to catch the ball here with one hand. We're going to bring it back. We're in that QTP and then throw with two. But we're always catching the ball with one hand on the bottom and stick on a diagonal. Here we go. Good. So we're really working on stabilizing that bottom hand when we're catching. Working on our comfort level with that bottom hand. And then we're working on our passing mechanics when we have two hands on our stick. Again, front foot forward, hips and shoulders turned, hands back, point towards our target, and follow through. And again, even professional players miss a pass. They miss a shot. They make mistakes. That's why we're practicing. And we've got a bunch of balls at our feet, so we never have to spend time chasing balls. We're just working on our stick work. Okay, we did 25 right. Now we're going to switch and do 25 left. Hey there, Coach Miller here, and you're taking a look inside the BTB Players Manual video series. Specifically, you're looking at the Stick Magician workout. Stick Magician is awesome if you're looking to get better stick skills, if you're looking to throw and catch the lacrosse ball at a higher level. Now, if you want to take it even deeper, all you have to do is click the link right below this video and you can get inside the BTB Players Manual and start doing the entire thing step by step. The BTB Players Manual is a blueprint to taking your lacrosse game to the next level. It's a video series composed of six awesome core videos plus some awesome, awesome bonuses. So just go ahead, click the link below, and you can get started right away. Coach Miller, see you on the inside.